live inside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Toronto Blue Jays. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Bo Bichette, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming up. And today's starter, you say Kikuchi. What do you got on him, Chris? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. JP Crawford gets a chance to hit. Off tonight for Seattle. The shortstop. JP Crawford. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. And we're underway here in the home opener. First pitch, 707. The wide to kick the pitch. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Kicks and fires way well, high. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Kicks and deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Line drive, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. The nice job of driving that pitch the other way right on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Julio Rodriguez in the box now. Take strike one. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. The pitch. And ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the yeah. ball in play next time. Jorge Polanco batting with one down takes a strike. And now the lefty fouled off. He was late. One ball, two strikes. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner stays where he is. And the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. First pitch just misses. one and zero. Crawford, the runner at first with two gone. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One and one. T 
two outs. Swings through that one for strike two. Popped up. Bichette sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One left for Seattle. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now in Toronto, and our pitcher in this game, Logan Gilbert. Well, Boog, he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there. Guy knows how to pitch. He's got good stuff. Sometimes it can be even plus stuff. First time through the order, though, I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's George Springer. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. This one in the air right field. Hanniger has a beat on it. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the box now. No balls and a strike. One out, base is empty. I love the fact that we've seen both Vladimir Guerrero and Vladdy Jr. win the home run derby. They're the first father-son duo to ever win it. Vladdy back in 2007 and Vladdy Jr. in 2023. Even though his dad didn't give him any advice for the event other than to go out there and hit home runs. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. One down, base is empty. That nope. misses the zone. Oh. Going to count one and two. It's a good take. The pitch. Guerrero started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. Hope is shut up to the dish. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lifted in the air, right field. Hanniger sizing it up. Corrals it. And that will end the inning. Nothing doing for Toronto in the first. We'll go to the second from Rogers Center with no score. New inning getting started. Here's a big power threat. Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. And the pitch. Garver tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. The wind in the pitch. Now one, one and one. Right. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. And he deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The wind of the pitch. That's the third, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's the catcher to hit, Cal Raleigh. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Ah. 
curveball drops in there. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. To third, sneaks through, base hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now, Luke Rayleigh. That one outside. 1-0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. No outs, runners at first and second. Gets under and pops it up. Counter for Leffa. Has this one sized up? Hauls it in for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Now the left fielder, Dominic Canzone. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next pitch is outside. Second inning here, no score. This one in the dirt. To third. Tag. Got him. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base pass, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, you couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. It gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position. And now it's filled up. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Man at second. Fights it off, you'll see another. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. In the air, left side. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the third out. Mariners leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Of the second. Here's Turner now. The third baseman. Justin Turner. Gilbert back to work. That's off the mark, and it's one to know. Just oh, missed. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. That one finds the zone. Two and two now.
Polanco makes the grab one away. The center fielder. Here's the center fielder. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Now fly ball to right center. Hanniger on his way over. Makes the catch. Two away. That is good. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Going two now. And that just misses. Really good take, especially two strikes. And there's a the ball. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Two outs. That one misses, and it's three and two. Tied up, bottom half of inning number two. And a 3 2. Good job to fight that one off. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, two-out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Biggio off the first with two away. Got him swinging, and that ends the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We play two full, no score. Back here at Rogers Center, out of the third inning, here's Josh Rojas. The pitch. There's the strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. That one finds the corner, and it's a one-two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Left-hand hitter waits. Ground ball right side. Connor Falefa. Over to first. And one away in the top of the third. Back to the top of the lineup. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. He's one for one. Let off the game with a single. And 
immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Fires oh. over to Guerrero. And a couple of quick outs. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Went down on strikes his first time through. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Top of the third, no score. And yep, that's that outside, and that's ball two. Just outside, missed. See if he gives him anything to hit yeah. here. And there's the automatic. The pitch. Hey. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting hey. off speed there. Base knock center field. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. This to third. Turner to first. Oh. That ends the frame. Home half of the third coming up. No score. As we go to the last of the third. And now it's Dalton Varsho. With the right hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Rodriguez sizing this one up. One away. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Right through there for a strike. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Reaches over the wall. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Springer stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Another ball. Two balls, one strike. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. He's in there. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. And the righty deals. That one inside. Two and oh. In there. 
there for a strike at the top of the zone. With the go-ahead run standing at second here in the last half of the third. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Wouldn't chase that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Man on second, two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. He gets there on a slide. The throw, and that's a nice play to end the inning. So one hit is all they get. On to inning number four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. As the lefty gets to work. On the ground. Down the line, and it's foul. The wind of the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Next pitch is outside. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Mitch Garver up to hit here. One for one with a single so far. Line and a base hit into right. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So digging in, Cal Raleigh. A switch hitter batting right. Off the mark there. And yeah, that's ball one. And here comes down the middle for a strike and it's one and one. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Strike two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. pitch and that'll fall for a base hit and the go-ahead run into scoring position one away a couple of singles back to back he clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat just kind of muscled it out there and you know on the mound it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game now it's going to be Luke what really Ball one, no strikes. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bird. Go ahead, run at second. Top half of inning number four. And a pitch. And fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Runners at first and second with one gone. 
Next pitch off the play, and it's two and two. And another ball. Dominic Panzone waiting for a turn at the plate. Two on, one out. That smacked on a line to center. Squeezes it. And stepping in for the Mariners, Dominic Canzone. A little surprised. You don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. That's Off the mark ball. there. And that is ball one. And a good eye there. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one now. That one at the knees for a strike. Garver on second. Raleigh on at first with two down. Bounce to the left side. Jump throw. And that is the inning. Mariners leave a couple, and we are still scoreless. And we're back. Ready to go. Bottom four. And here is Bobashev. Gilbert back to work. And that's outside. 1 and 0. Right side hard hit. Polanco tosses the first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. She delivered a good play right there. So now Turner in on that right side. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Up the middle, and he can't come up with it. And now the center fielder. He's over one. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Ow! Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And the right hater deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the third baseman, Josh the Rojas. The third baseman, number four, Josh Rojas. The pitch wouldn't oh, chase that time. Movement in the bullpen. Bowden Francis getting loose out there. Green also getting ready. The why to kick the pitch ball. and another ball. Two balls, no strike. Mm -hmm. 
just missed. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Yeah, there's ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. So a change being made at first base on the pinch run for Seattle. Samad Taylor. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. One for two. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. That catches the corner. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Kikuchi checks oh, on first. Safe. And he's back in safely. The 0 1. Inside just missed. On the ground, left side. Six, four, three. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two out spaces empty. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game, Boo. A lot of base runners on against him, and he's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. Two outs, runner at first. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Pitch is in there. Going one. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. This one in the air. Gets under it. He's got it. And that's the third out. One left for Seattle. Still no score. So coming into the game now on defense, Samad Taylor. He's the new third baseman. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Kevin Biggio. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. The right-hander back to work. That misses, and it's 1-0. That's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at-bat to hit. And a ball in two strikes. And he grounds one to the right side. And it's just foul. That was close. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter. And I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things. And I think that was the case right there. And now, Alejandro Kirk. Ball one and a pitch inside. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Out of the zone and a called strike.
So now one and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. The one two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Another one two. Uh oh that got him and the potential winning run is aboard. You just can't afford to make these kind of mistakes this late in the ball game. You need to make the offense earn everything down the stretch and that right there was just a freebie. Show. The next to hit takes ball one. That one finds the zone and a count even one and one. Fall off foul. At first, one gone. In the dirt, and the runner holds. On the ground to third. To second, that's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Extra inning certainly had a different feel starting in 2020. With a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that nope, forced teams to rethink their strategy at extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and boo, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning, but for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. In there. And so now one and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Man at second. And now two and two. is foul and the pressure is building and a pitch and another ball Mitch Garver in the on deck circle at the belt and fires foul off again and it remains three and two. Here comes a pitch. He walked in, and that will keep things going. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. In now is the Mariners' DH, Mitch Garver. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. That one drifts inside. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play.
Ball to strike. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. You say Kikuchi will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Bodie Francis. He's making his second appearance of the season. So up next, Cal Raleigh. First pitch misses. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Runners at first and second with one gone. And here in extra innings. And that one fouled off. In the air, left field. Varsho moving under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. So two down now, and here is Luke Raley. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Balls it in to end the inning. So the Jays' pen does its job nicely there. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now for the Jays, Isaiah kiner Falefa. Man at second, nobody out. And Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Okay. Slugging is the name of the game. The 1-0. -oh. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. And the count one and two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. And fouled off. Winning run at second with one away here in extra innings. And that's in for a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Swing and a miss, splitter in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. 
Well done behind the dish. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Out front and foul to the left side. The winning run on second base. Fall off foul. Swing and a miss struck him out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back now in Toronto, here's the left fielder, Dominic Canzone. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. Francis back to work. That's down and in. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Foul ball still a one and two count. And another ball. Line to left. Base hit into the outfield. Headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. He's safe. Well, they didn't waste any time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to add on. Samant Taylor up next for the Mariners. Getting his first plate appearance here in extra innings. He entered the game as a pinch runner. Nope. Pitch misses there. Ball one. And yeah, that's a little high. Ken Zone leads off second with nobody out. Another ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Man at second. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Back to the top of the Seattle order. JP Crawford up next for the Mariners. One for three. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level.
Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Right-hander kicks deals. Pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Kicks and deals. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Now, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. So digging in, Julio Rodriguez. And that's in there at the knees. Ground ball could be two. The flip to second, and that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now one nothing. Welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. And now for the Jays. Bill Michel. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about it. I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists. But you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Swings and misses. And it's nothing in two. Oh, and this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. A gigantic blast. And the Blue Jays walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long.